ran a poll on Twitter asking you guys if you like volleyball or not, and as of this video, most of you guys said no. Needless to say, I'm with everyone who said no. Why? Well, this video will explain why. By the way, sorry for the lack of videos. There have been some family issues I've been going through right now. I won't go through it, but don't worry, I'm doing fine. Anyways, the usual plug. Please leave a like and subscribe with notifications. Let's try to get 15 likes on this video. If we reach that goal, then this beautiful boy will be the 2020 United States President. This isn't a scam. Please trust me, guys. Please, please trust me on this guy. Anyways, volleyball. The sport kind of like tennis, but the ball is like five times bigger, and your arms and your hands are the rackets. Honestly, I'd rather use rackets than my hands and arms, because goddamn, does that shit hurt or what? If you don't hit the ball in a certain way, then your arms or hand is screwed. For arms, the ball comes down on you and you prepare to hit it. If you mess up, the ball hurts your arms and the ball doesn't even go over the other side of the net. It just goes behind you and that, that shit is obviously not fun. Next, your hands. Now serving is kind of a pain in the ass since if your hand is slightly tilted or something, then the ball will not go forward, only left or right. And another thing that sucks, if you don't think fast and the ball is coming towards you and you use your hands instead of your arms, your hand will bend back, and again, you won't have a fun time. So basically, here's what the ball looks like. But this, on the other hand, is what it feels like. Like, why can't we have those soft and less painful volleyballs from elementary school? Those were actually fun and less painful to hit with your hands or arms. Even when it's coming toward you at light speed. The ball isn't the only problem with volleyball, however. Another thing is when the ball never comes to you. Ever. So you'll be standing in one spot while the ball goes to the same person, over and over. And when the ball does come to you, it is when you least expect it, and you end up giving a point to the other team. But Nick, you should always expect the ball to come to you. Yeah, but the ball rarely ever came to me, so I let my guard down. Like, goddamn, I have a better chance of winning the lottery than the ball coming to me. Okay, I know that's a bad analogy, but you probably get the point, right? By the way, my school does the thing where they have a competitive side and a casual side when we play a sport. Yes, I did both sides, and they're equally as boring. That's a problem. Not only that, but the same thing happens where the ball never came to me. And honestly, that's all I have to say for this video. Kinda wanna get this off my chest since I never realized how boring and unimpressive volleyball is. Like, holy hell. Also, I wanted to talk about volleyball since the volleyball unit just ended at my school and gave me the idea to make this video in the first place. So, at least something good came out of volleyball, right? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm once again sorry for my absence. If things improved, I will make sure to make more videos for you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, and turn on notifications so you do not miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.